Eric Marcio Field on the campus of Reed's Buffer for today's two. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, really, like, sometimes you have those games where things just fall perfectly for you. And tonight was one of those. Um, you know, we laughed before the game. We came into the conference tournament game against Fruit Court, and we were angry that we had lost the first time. And I kind of advertised to the guys, they're going to come in and be angry at us. So we had to match that intensity for the first couple minutes. Um, you know, weather the storm right away. Um, and obviously the big part of this game is scoring early, right? Like uh, we got on them with the three goals in the first half. Um, just, we worked hard. Um, we have so many different guys that can score for us. I mean, we had, did we have four different scores? Uh, no, three. Conrad three. had two. Yeah. Um, but just a good group of guys, play for each other, work hard. I love them, congrats, I'm so happy for the boys. I mean, we've lost first game before, so topping it off, being them 2-1 in the game was nice, for sure. Um, we just came to win, and we heard uh, what they are saying in the news, and we were like, oh no, we're not having that, so. Sure. Not happening, so yeah. yeah. How much was that a kind of a motivator, their quotes about thinking they were gonna come in and win? How much did that kind of motivate you guys? Yeah, a lot. Sure. Get you going and when you step on the field and connected a lot. Yeah. I mean, what, once we got on the roll, it just keeps going. That's how our we are. Once we score one, we'll just keep going. We'll celebrate tonight. Um, tonight, East Grand Rapids plays Grand Rapids Christian. Yep. See where that goes. We played East earlier in the season. That was our first game of the season. We tied them 2 2. Yeah. Um, we'll figure that out. Um, have a little bit of a celebration tomorrow. Uh, I believe we play on Tuesday next week, so that gives us a Monday to kind of get ourselves ready. Um, but we'll take care of business. Conrad and Keegan, how much do they kind of push the offense and kind of get things flowing for you guys? It's weird because we play with just Keegan up top, and sometimes he's against those four guys, and then he holds it up for those other guys to come in, you know. And that allows Porter to come in. That allows Jack Mulder to come in. That allows Conrad to come in. You know, and even Link pushed in there at the end. And so we're really balanced in who scores our goals. And a lot of it comes because of Keegan's work up top. And then obviously Conrad can finish. I mean, he's 
he was a little upset about the whole PK thing, but you know, he finished his chance and put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah. I, I took a couple shots, but that's how it goes. Etienne um, Wallace. Yep, yep. So, he, I mean, obviously he had, a, he had a sweet PK save there at the end. Um, it's, it's a little bittersweet. You know, I wanted to give um, Landon Bennell a couple minutes there and, you know, just a crash in there. Um, we thought about putting Aiden back in, but they, you know, on that, we had gotten all the other JV guys in. Um, we we, we kind of laughed on the sidelines. It's a pretty hard place for the JV goalie to get his first varsity experience. Yeah. But yep. he obviously stepped up, held his head. Uh, you know, their student section was behind and giving him a little bit of the business. And so it was nice to see him succeed for sure. But I'm really proud of all the guys top to bottom. They're great kids. So this might be three in a row for us. What's okay. that mean to this program to have a streak like that? We we went to the state finals in 11 and 13, and the kind of the the goal was we were building to be a state contender all the time. We had a little bit of a drop off. You know, the west side of Michigan is so difficult with so many teams. Soccer is getting better. I mean, obviously, Brookport tonight is a way better team. I mean, they at one point were ranked number two in the state. Um, very tough team. Soccer is getting better. Um, we want to be we want to be the best. I mean, we want our name mentioned with the, the above, but we got to go to regionals and fight. Um, we can't just be the one that wins district and goes to regionals and loses. Uh, we want to fight with those guys too. Um, obviously, tough loss tonight. You guys had an amazing season. Uh, what are your thoughts moving forward? And what do you tell the kids in a, in a tough loss like this? You know, at the end of the day tonight, Monday night. You know, we didn't uh, didn't execute. You know, some of the ways that we typically have executed. And you know, Spring Lake's a very good team. You know, there's no there's no doubt about that. But I think. What I take away from it is we had a really great group of seniors who worked incredibly hard, and uh, I think we'll, we'll bridge the gap and continue to take us to a new level. You know, we, we had 16 underclassmen on this team, and, um, you know, tonight was a big moment, and, you know, here and there you can kind of see a little bit of the youth once in a while, but, you know, it's no excuse, and we, you know, I'm proud of my guys. I'm proud of how hard they worked, and they, you know, we could have thrown in the towel, but they kept battling. So, um, you know, I'm just... You know, obviously it's disappointing, but I'm proud of my guys and, and the season that we had. I, I hope what they take away is the fact that um, you know you're you're part of something bigger than yourself. And we preach that the whole year as far as you know you're you're we're accountable to each other, and it's important to be able to um, you know lift each other up all the time and kind of be positive and work hard for each other and I think this was a senior class and I think this was a group that became unselfish and that allowed us to do those things and um, I think that legacy will hopefully be felt for years to come so 